Hi, uh, thanks for tuning in to uh, my video blog vlog for um, August 24th of 2017. So, uh, pretty good day so far. Um, actually, um, out of the ordinary when I woke up today. Uh, no voices. So that was pretty peaceful. Um, usually there are they are there as soon as I wake up, but they were not today, which uh, was a relief. Um, they did return, however, after my shower and uh, after I left to go to um, a, um, a walkthrough of a facility which I am uh, about to begin working at. Um, it is a bread distribution facility, and I will be working around a lot of bread, a lot of people's bread. Now, uh, I'll be handling a lot of bread. And uh, if you know anything about uh, European history and how um, the profession of banking came about, you'll know that some of the richest people in the world started um, their careers by handling the bread, figuratively, actually, the, the valuables of, uh, of more power, people more powerful than them. And, um, yeah, and the, the turnover from uh, wars and raids and all of that uh, bad stuff during the Middle Ages um, led to these bankers coming into quite a bit of wealth. So uh, a little bit of a history lesson for today, a little bit about my day, but um, let's get to it. So uh, I, I was having a conversation yesterday with uh, someone else who has experienced and actually been experiencing this for longer than me, um, the voice hearing, the voice of God, the uh, thoughts in it, the induced thoughts, the induced emotions, and the whole, uh, the whole ball game there. So, sorry, not the whole ball game, the whole beast, if you will. Um, so, what I'd like to talk about today is why would so many people who are diagnosed with schizophrenia or otherwise have some symptoms which are commonly interpreted as schizophrenic or even just paranoid, um, or maybe just, um, just uh, hallucinations slash delusions, we'll say that, leave it at that. Um, why would so many believe that they're hearing voices is mind control? I, I found out that this is a pretty common theme, that we, you know, we think that, you know, it's, it's mind control. When you're hearing voices, it's obvious, it's like, well, this is mind control, it's like someone's in my head that's not me, and they're trying to get me to do something that I don't really need or want to do or wouldn't want to do if they weren't there. I don't think it's pure paranoia, no. What I think is going on here is that there is a war between the people who are powerful and have this technology. Now, this technology definitely exists to implant thoughts, um, induce emotions, um, induce voice hearing, induce hallucinations, uh, pretty much every kind. Um, so what I believe is that some of these mind control technicians, they're technicians because they're operating the machinery, the technology that puts the, everything, interacts with the brain on a remote level. Um, are revealing the existence of this thoughts, implantation, emotion-inducing, voice of God technology. And there's a problem. It's a double-edged sword. So what I mean by that is that the more people who know about this technology, the more people are prone to figuring it out and abusing it to harm others or get other people to do their dirty work or even just getting people to do bad things in general. Um, but then at the other side, the more we're in the dark and the more this technology is covered up, hidden, you know, because we don't want bad people to get their hands on it, but the more we're in the dark, the more defenseless people are against one of these psychotronic or electronic harassment attacks. So I believe that it is at the point now that people just really need to know to defend ourselves. There are enough bad people in the world that are using this to get people to commit crimes, um, suicides, um, just cause mental illness, um, confusion, pain, um, you know, the whole, it's, you know, you're interacting with someone's brain on a direct level, you know, that's obviously, um, that's a whole, uh, tear up from any other kind of potential terrorism or thought control, propaganda, you name it, um. I was actually talking to someone um, 
a few days ago, and we were talking about how TV is essentially like mind control because you just watch this steady stream of information, and it it alters your what your visual, all your all your senses are like plugged into this TV, and it's everything you see is being processed by your mind, and it's essentially like turning your mind toward having a habit of processing that information. But with a TV, you can turn it off. With uh, thoughts being beamed into your head, you can't just turn it off. Um, obviously, people have tried tinfoil hats and things like that. But that kind of uh, segues into something else. Um, you know, people with tinfoil hats uh, have been, you know, uh, ostracized, kind of pushed to the fringe. Say, you know, these people are crazy. They're ridiculous. Why are they doing this? Why are they putting this on their heads? Why? You know, and that's just that's just the image of that that I get is that. Um, you know, people who claim to be uh, victims of mind control or electronic harassment, because there is no outward evidence or very little outward evidence, usually none, um, in some cases there has been, if one hasn't experienced it and you're hearing this, you're hearing someone that's talking about something that you can neither see nor hear. Um, so if you haven't experienced induced thoughts and emotions, voice hearing, or electronic harassment, um, the entire topic can just sound like circular logic that's stuck up in the person that's telling it to you, uh, their head. Um, because those experiences are so real to them, but so foreign to you that it's just like, whoa, well, we're from a different planet, or you're crazy. Um, it takes a real level of open-mindedness, and I think that open-mindedness is something that all of us, everyone, should always work on having open-mindedness to other people's viewpoints not necessarily you know I'm not saying don't be skeptical be skeptical but there is a balance to be struck between skepticism and open-mindedness in understanding one another to make a better more loving civilization and that balance is it's crucial um, it's crucial to who I am and um, you know, I believe that this technology, this relatively new technology which allows for thoughts to be um, implanted into someone's head, emotions to be induced, this technology is um, it's growing. More and more people are finding out how to use it and how to use it to their advantage. And Let's look, you know, um, if we don't face the fact that this technology is real and it can be abused to um, potentially, you know, cause people to commit murders, um, turn someone who um, might be impressionable into a terrorist or into someone who believes these things, because think about it, you know, you're having these thoughts right now, you're always having thoughts. If a thought's implanted, you know, you don't feel it, it's just like, um, it's just like a text message pops up on your phone and it's in your head and it's changing the way you think and if you're not you know if you don't know exactly who you are if you're, if you're searching for something these thoughts that just happen might be like whoa you know that makes a lot of sense you know I feel great I'm finally thinking for myself but in reality you know you might not be thinking for yourself if you're having you're, you're not I mean if you I mean, these, these thoughts are being implanted then you're not someone who is thinking for themselves even though Oftentimes, I have experienced this with delusions of grandeur. That is a common tactic to get people who are having these these thoughts and this um, this logic that leads to a different type of behavior. It's often accompanied with this um, this delusion that we are great people. We can do change in the world. We can make change. We are extremely powerful. I am an extremely powerful individual, and there is this whole rhetoric that goes along with it, of like you know, I can do no wrong, and. Um, that's dangerous and powerful and I believe I know in fact that there are terrorists being cultivated in the world today with this technology we'll let that sink in that's what's really going on people maybe not a hundred percent of the time but that is what's really going on and that is what is going to continue to go on at a greater pace and we need to be do something about it we as human beings need to be informed about this threat. Now, if you're afraid or if you think this sounds crazy or that 
you know, this technology um, doesn't, you know, it's, it's just too ridiculous or it's too evil to be true. Think about this, okay? This type of stance of, oh, it can't be, it's, you know, it's, it's just, um, it's, too, it's too scary, it's too bad, it's too ridiculous. Or even it's, it's scientifically unfeasible, how could they get away with this without us knowing? That's the same stance that many people and Europeans took. I'm sorry, people and Europeans, no, Europeans are people too, just... <laughs> no, uh, but that people took before, during, and even after the Holocaust during World War II, okay? We said we would never let that happen again. We would never let atrocities on that level occur. Well, with this technology, this is a new playing field. This is a new contender in you know the game for you know human rights human freedom you know the the our what we need you know what we have our freedom our own freedom to exist life liberty life liberty and the pursuit of happiness so kind of um kind of on the ramp but that was what was on my mind today is just the validity and the reality of this technology you know it is real and it might not be very prolific right now and I believe that the government and many agencies have been covering this stuff up for years to try to keep it from proliferating so that, you know, okay, it exists, but we don't want people to know it exists, and it's not just because we want control. I'm sure there are several people who like to hide it because they want control, but it's also to keep people from using it for terrorism. I mean, it's, it's the scary reality, and, um, you know, just keep your eyes open. And, uh, yeah, so this video is getting kind of long. I'll wrap it up with that. Uh, be good. Be safe. Love one another. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your societies. Take care of your civilization. Sustainable Earth is everything. Have a great day.